What? Oh, wow. That is not cool. Ooh, I hope it hasn't been in there for very long. Okay, let's do it. The decapitated warden. Oh, yes, another. Nope. Dissolving corpse. Yeah. The body of an unidentifiable man dissolving in a. Oh, it's acid! Oh my god, it's breaking bad. Holy shit. The head has been chopped off cleanly and there's a stab wound to the chest. It is unusual as the puncture bears the mark of an X. On his finger sits an ornate gold ring. The address of the maker is etched on the inner shank. 84 Rue Larbalet. Okay. Well, that's way more gruesome than I was expecting. Oh, man. Okay, I gotta go to the jewelry shop. I know that. Good God, mighty Christ. Okay, well, what am I looking for here? You. I have three more clues to find, and you're one of them. What do you know? Finally get a vacation, only to find a headless corpse rotting in my tannery. Yo there. That thing's been sitting here at least a few days. Put the wound on his chest. Only a custom blade could do that. Stinky. I've heard rumors like that awful tool. gangs love to leave their mark on their victims. Hmm. I was thinking some type of tanning tool. What do I know about tanning? But I guess not. Okay, so Citizen Gilbert, you own the tannery place. Okay. You guys watch Breaking Bad? I think, is it in season one or? It must be in season one, I think. When Jesse thinks it's a good idea to dissolve that dead guy's body in the bathtub upstairs so it falls through the ceiling and lands in front of them and it's all goopy and it's like mostly just tissue left. Ah, it was disgusting. And the beginning of the next episode is them cleaning it up. Oh man, not cool. Why am I supposed to find two more clues? Man, you get money fast in this game. Oh, 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 up there. A sword. That's a, an X stab wound on his chest. Maybe it's Zorro. Perhaps. This. <clears throat> a custom crafted short sword. Likely the murder weapon. The keyon has been forged into an X, explaining the strange puncture wound left on the body. There is a maker's mark with the address of a blacksmith, 74 Rue de la Roulette. Okay, so they're right next to each other. I still need one more clue. How did that even get up there anyway? Did he kill him and then throw it up here, hopefully hoping no one would be able to get it or find it? Well, you thought wrong. Okay, um, I still need a fourth clue. Just keep scanning the area for it. Eh. Oh, you! All the way over there? Jesus! You, sir! You, who are you? A few days ago, I heard some strange noises outside my window late in the night. When I looked outside, I saw someone going into the tannery carrying something quite large. I, I just assumed it was Citizen Gilbert, working late as always. I had no clue he was vacationing and someone broke in. Otherwise, I'd have told someone. Whoa. This guy's last name is the last name of my, well, the, um, maiden name of my cousin. That's kind of creepy. Okay, so Matthew, you're a witness. You said you thought you saw, you thought you saw Citizen Gilbert holding something large into the tannery. Okay. Well, that's creepy. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll just head out this way. I think this is the blacksmith. Six locations. Jesus Christ, all these clues. Out of the way, pious! Get the fuck out of the way. Okay, right here. Jewelry shop. Bonsoir, monsieur. Citizen Touche. Oh, this ring. How could I not recognize my own masterpiece? Yeah, I found it on of a course, dead guy. it belongs to Warden LaRue. LaRue. Uh, you must return <laughs> this. I'm sure you'll be looking for it. You'll find him working at the prison at La Salpetriere, or home with his wife, Madame Camille. I'll write down the address for you. Two new locations. The prison where he works, and his house. Okay. I still have two... No, that's only one clue. Okay. Time to go, then. Okay, blacksmith, here we are. Hello, monsieur, what do you know? If the blade left the mark of an X, Romain. that's one of mine. 
I forge him custom with the gang they march for more. It stands oh, for sure, you're real proud of yourself. Or some such thing. The hooded fellow, much like yourself, purchased one of those blades a few days ago. Look, I can't be responsible for these once they're sold. Check the tavern, the curb. It's where they march for more spend most the of their curb. time. I'll write down the address for you. Is that all six locations I've discovered now? Well, okay. Does that mean an assassin's the murderer? Is that just supposed to be like, aha, that's very funny. I don't know. There's a lot of clues in the warden's house. So I guess we'll go for the warden's house next. Oh, yes, directly above me. Okay. And there's a window! How convenient. I assume you're his wife. Hello, mademoiselle. Oh, okay. I knew something was wrong. Warden Leroux was always, always so late, late, but for him to oh, be a for two she days, across the street. no sense. I heard he'd been mixed up with oh, Les Marchands oh, Mall, that horrible gang, but I honestly thought it was just rumors. <laughs> okay, yeah, across the street. So here's his house. Right here! Let's look at this first. Letter from Warden Leroux to Citizen General Security Officer. Dear Sir, I must inform you of my desire to remove Hugo Solier from his post at, as Deputy Warden. Uh-oh. Possible motive, perhaps. In the past months, he has shown both an insubordinate attitude and a reckless disregard for the management of our prisoners. Under his watch in the last week, we've had two attempted escapes and several altercations arise between prisoners. Please advise. Sincerely, Warden LaRue. Okay. So this... Hugo Solier definitely has a motive if he found out. Is that a newspaper or is that a clue? Ah, oh, it's a newspaper. Okay. Hello, madam. Oh, here's Camille. My husband had many enemies. Running a prison made sure of that. Mm. I must admit, he'd been missing two nights before I could bring myself to tell the police. It's no secret that I wasn't faithful. But I would never do such a horrible thing. Excuse me? You weren't faithful? Where did that come from? Who were you unfaithful with? Tell me. I want details. No. Victim's wife. She believes her husband had made many enemies due to his day job. He'd apparently been missing for two nights before she told the police. <laughs> she was concerned they would blame her due to her infidelity. Highly suspicious. I got that vibe too, Ardo. Great minds think alike. I hit the back button on accident. Okay, there we go. Still of you. Are you a servant of some kind? Me? Well, I'm here to console Madame Camille, that's all. Just a friend. I think we found our Mr. Infidelity. Julian Lamont. Okay, so you're just a friend. I don't think so. Yep, Camille's lover. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Now, let's see, I have two more clues to find. One of them is the woman. I see her all the way over there. Oh. Oh, here we go. A letter from Julian to Mademoiselle Camille. My love, I must profess, I still count the days till we can meet again. But with Monsieur Leroux's... Isn't this supposed to be an S there? Insatiable paranoia. I fear this day may never come. Each breath he takes tightens the chains that imprison our love. Eternally yours, Julian Lemon. All right, so it's one of you, pretty damn sure. Okay, and then the last clue is the woman over there on the balcony. Oh, Arno, behave! Not that! Up. Down. Thank you. Hello, he madam. Deserve better than this. He had his faults, but he was a good man. Not that his wife even cares. Such fake tears. Always running off with a new man. Hmm. Well then, how do you even pronounce that name? Lynette? Was that supposed to be a lowercase i instead of capital I? I have no freaking clue. With all the typos I've seen in Rogue and Unity, you never know. Okay. Uh, tavern. Let's go ahead and go over here. Tavern! Well, do you mind? I need to solve a murder! Alright, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. Just because I don't like you. Ooh, I got more out of that than I expected. Ah, I killed the guy at the door. Can 
I hop up here and go down? First of all, who's up here? Nope! Okay, let's head back down. Two clues. And they're both people to talk to. Yale. Who are you? I was expecting someone to come by and pin LaRue's death on us. Sure, the warden had some debt. Oh. But we were negotiating the release of some of my men in return. Why would I toss away a deal like that? I'm not a fool. Leader of Le Marcheur Mort, I think. Le, Ch Le Marcheur Mort, I think? Danton was expecting me. He confirms Warden LaRue had debts with Le Marcheur Mort. He claims he would not have done it because he was negotiating the release of some of his men with LaRue. Yeah, the person with the biggest motive here is the wife. Just pointing it out. Okay, let's head or not further downstairs. Can I not get to the- that's stupid. That's stupid! Okay, well at least I found this. Oof. Okay. <laughs> uh, you. I need to talk to you. What do you know? Hey, I know nothing, say nothing. I just serve Le Mache and Moch their ale and carry about my business. You can take it up with their leader upstairs. I already have, monsieur. You just go ahead and revise. Always review the evidence. Olivier Rivet. Barkeep claims he knows nothing about Warden LaRue, just that he serves beer and that the leader of the Marsh and is upstairs, which I already knew. So basically, you're of no help to me. Um, it's time to head all the way up here now to the prison. Alright, so here's the prison. I just need to find a way in. Done! Let's go ahead and drop down here. Alright. You, monsieur. What the fuck is that? Is that his head? The horror. Oh, the you. The gall of these vermin. Look at what they've done. Poor Warden LaRue's head placed on a pike for all in the prison to see. God. Surely a message to me who must follow his brave tenure. I'd wished him a good night just yesterday. I'd heard rumors of his gambling debts with Les Marcheurs Moore, that wretched gang. Okay. So he actually seems quite sincere. Hugo Solier worked with the victim. The deputy warden seems to be in shock over the death of Warden LaRue. He came to work and found the ruse head placed on a pike outside the crematorium at La Sub Subpetre. Good God. <laughs> at least there is now no doubt who the body is. Deputy said goodbye to LaRue the day before. He looks to be eager to pin it on Le Marche Mort, the gang LaRue had run afoul with. Yes, indeed. Well, it's either you or the wife. It's not- oh my God. Shrubs! It's not saying much, but Jesus Christ, that's his head. Oh, that is just wrong. The head of Warden LaRue placed on a pike. Whoever did this looks to be sending a message to the deputy warden. I think it's the wife. I honestly do. That's the only two clues here? That's all the clues? That's There's no solid evidence here. That points to multiple people. I don't know, though. My money's on the wife, you guys. Whether she told the lover to do it or not, she was behind it, I think. Let me just go ahead, before I accuse the wrong suspect prematurely, let's go ahead and review all the evidence. Okay, my final conclusion after revealing after reviewing all this evidence. I think the boyfriend did it, Julian. I think he did it. So I'm gonna go back to the house and I'm going to accuse him. The house being uh yes, here. The wife is highly suspicious, but I have a feeling that's meant to deter me. It's either him or the wife, and if she didn't kill him herself, she asked the boyfriend to. I'm like a thousand percent positive on that <laughs> until I'm wrong. Okay, let's go ahead and head in and accuse the boyfriend. Let me just. Yeah, 
She mentioned fake tears too, so I think she. You. Me. Well, I'm here to console Madame Camille. That's all. Just a friend. If I use my Sherlock Holmes abilities too, he's not looking at me. Lack of eye contact suggests lies. So I think you did it. Madame Camille and I are in love. You think I would care if the room knew? Ah, fuck. Okay. Well, cowardly enough to not look at me in the eye. <laughs> My husband had Okay, well, maybe it was as obvious. I think it's you, then. a prison made sure of that. But I would never do such a horrible thing. I think you did it. I'll admit I had no love for my husband, but there is- DAMN IT! <laughs> my Dante suspect! Okay. Things you describe. Well, that's the first time I've gotten two wrong suspects. Jesus! Okay, this one's officially thrown me for a loop. I even reviewed all the evidence. Okay then, well... Maybe it's Solier. I'm just gonna go around and accuse everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna go accuse Solye now. Arno even said, highly suspicious. Neither of them did it? You gotta be kidding me, bro. It was meant to deter me, but Jesus Christ. I was so certain the boyfriend did it. Where am I even going? Whoa, that was flexible. Jesus. We're gonna have some back problems after pulling off that one. Alright, we're all the way back at the prison. And I'm going to accuse this prick because I am completely out of ideas. <laughs> I was sure it was the boyfriend. If it wasn't the boyfriend, it was the wife. But it's not any of them. Like, seriously? Ugh! That's frustrating. What about you? The horror. The gall of these vermin. Or may You know what? what they've done. He had access inside the prison to put the head there. The and now he's blaming La Marche So I think, me, yeah, he, he probably follow did it. his brave tenure. I'd wished him a good night just yesterday. I'd heard rumors of his gambling debts with Le Marche Mort, that wretched gang. Yeah. No! Accuse me? But but I'm in charge of the prison you'd like to throw me in. Oh, it was him. Okay, I thought I was wrong. Hey, third time's a charm. God damn it. That one threw me for a loop. I'll admit, that one deterred me greatly. I was a thousand percent positive it was him. But it wasn't. Damn it. Any time now. Hey, take your time. Thank you. The irony of being locked up here. Are you enjoying this? Are you? I don't know. Did you enjoy cutting off your partner's head? Hmm? Did you? Sick bastard. Okay, I got him. I think. I was certain the wife did it. Me she too! Must have turned a little too well, if you know what I mean. Take your pick. I was just super... I was super convinced! Wow! Reduce you bonus. Can. You'll get there. Gladius, that sounds cool. Case, okay, fine. Fuck you. Having trouble. That one, I did have trouble. I'll rate that one highly. Thank y'all. Now I gotta go and find it. Fuck! No! This is not the type of misclick you want to make. Cause it takes forever to load and then get the fuck out of it. Yes. Warden Larue had been helping run La Salpetre prison for many years. His deputy Hugo Solier had grown tired of waiting his turn in line. Really? That's the motive? After searching the warden, learning the warden had some very serious gambling debts with the local gang, Le Marche Mort, Deputy Hugo saw his opportunity. Having learned much about the gang's methods in prison, he ordered their custom blade at a local blacksmith, one that leaves the mark of an X on its victims. He then stabbed the warden on his way home from work and tossed the corpse into a tub filled with chemicals at the local tannery. He made the bloody marking of the X clearly visible for all to see. Blech. To ensure the crime could never be traced to him, <laughs> I didn't make sure enough, Deputy Hugo decapitated Warden LaRue's head and placed it on a pike outside the prison. That should have been a major indicator for me. He was right next to the head, and of all of the people I could accuse, he was the only one who would have access to that area. So, uh, my bad, I didn't even think of that. This was meant to appear to be a message sent by Le Marche Amour to the next warden in line, Deputy Hugo himself. As an added bonus, it turned out the warden's wife, Mademoiselle Camille, had been having an affair behind her husband's back. Deputy Hugo thought he was in the clear. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Damn it. 
Unfortunately, despite all the work he'd done covering his tracks, Hugo's own words were his downfall. The deputy's statement claimed LaRue left his post the previous evening, while LaRue's wife and neighbors revealed he'd been missing for at least two- Oh! Wow! I totally missed that bit! Good God! I used all my brain juices on that Taurus Nostradamus enigma. I had none left for the murder mystery. Well, oh man, that's a really good point. That completely went over my head. Damn it. Makes enough sense now, but I Follow swear, the boyfriend's motive was way stronger than that. The guy, the dude just got impatient? Uh, oh well, I guess. Do I need to refill? I uh, refill some stuff, why not? Okay, there we go. Ah! Ah! Oh Jesus, I didn't see that one! You can't get to me! You can't get to me! No, oh, run! Run! Get the brain juice first because I'm greedy. I know I'm gonna die. Ah! Okay, go, 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 go. Hi! Hi, Stella, how are you? I'm not the ladder! Hi, Stella, I'm not actually concerned about anything. It's just a video game. You can't get to me up here! 